Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In this video, we will see how we can add CSS to this page. Since you can see, once we click on get books, we are getting the data. But the UI look and feel is not good. So we will going to see how we can add CSS and bootstrap in our application. So for that, we can, we have to install here npm install react bootstrap bootstrap react bootstrap and then also one more package that is bootstrap so we will install these two packet react bootstrap and then bootstrap and hyphen hyphen c so these two things we have to do So now you can see here, let me just show you, so we can have to do npm install react bootstrap and then bootstrap hyphen hyphen c. These two commands we have to perform, click enter. So by clicking plus control and plus you can increase the size of your uh, visual studio and uh, if you want to decrease the size then you can do control and minus sign. So these two packages are installed. Now let's refresh our project. We can go into node.js module and here that particular module should be installed in this one so it should be bootstrap you can see one module is installed bootstrap so basically we have to use this module bootstrap dist css and from here we can use bootstrap min file and this particular file you have to add in your index.js file so i can simply write let me just see if i can do it okay no so we have to write here uh, import bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap hyphen min dot css this particular css we need in our application we have to only add bootstrap min in the index dot js file and then we can go into our books page and here we can see that let me just decrease the size here yeah. so now we can see here we have added if i save it now and uh, we'll run it npm run start so development server is started let's refresh okay so we can see it's working that means we need to only include this particular file and then we are ready to use this now after adding the css it will not change anything you can see everything is still same the thing is now we can use css to to the application for example here we can see we have button now let's say if i add here a style a style class uh, we can add here sorry class name and class name equal to and then here we can write btn this is one class button which is available so if i save this now 
let's go and check so you can see this is converted that means css is applying now and after that we can write btn hyphen primary dash um, btn dash primary P -R -I -M -A -R -Y. Yeah. save it and let's go and check now you can see the button is changed right button is changed so similarly we can do for other other buttons that we have class name equal to we can write btn and then here i can say btn info once we will save it we can check now both uh, is changing right we have two different types of buttons similarly we can do for tables right we want to show tables in formatted way so what we can do we have class name equal to table so if i add normal table we will go here and check you can see this is changed if i click you will see something like this apart that we have also other css related to class is that we can write here uh, table and then table strap strap if i'll save it and then we can check now it looks same we can click here these things is coming up right this line is came after adding that so now it looks pretty good what we can do instead of adding everything here we can also add one container type so we can say class name equal to container if i'll save it now we can see everything is aligned right we have now gap on top and then we can display data here so similarly we can add multiple css as per the requirement as per the need we can also club these all things together and uh, we can create one complete title bar something like that so let's say if i'll write if i'll use a span a span and then we can say class name equal to title bar let's say if i'll use title bar and in this title bar we want to club all the uh, buttons together we can do that also so here we have this title bar save it now we have to we can define our own you can see now it's coming same so we can define our own css also like here we can see class name equal to title bar now we have to define title bar on top of that so that we can club all the buttons together so this way we can apply css in our application Right. See you in the next video.